Recently, I conducted a study titled Predictive Beliefs Experiment for Globe Earthers, and no Globe Earther has been able to pass it yet. And basically, it was about traveling in an airplane and how you will be able to make it to point any point within point A and any point within point B, traveling north and latitude on a globe without increasing your altitude. Now, today, I wanted to make a very short video. Um... Because the last one, like I said, the test, that was only the beginning. This video is going to be very short, probably even 60 seconds or below. But I just wanted to point out the fact that the ISS has never flown over the Earth. The reason being is because on a globe Earth, the North Pole is said to be north. And that, of course, they say that the Earth or the... um equatorial line whatever the case may be we're not going to go with the semantics because the earth isn't a globe but anyway it has a tilt of 23.5 degrees but still on any uh picture of the globe earth parts of a uh, north pole are still centered whether there is a tilt or not they're still centered if you're looking directly at a globe earth they're still parts and portions of the north pole directly at the 90 degree north latitude so keeping that in mind and keeping the opposite in mind as well as far as antarctica or the south pole at the bottom both of them have land coverage ice coverage whatever you want to call it on the globe earth model at the 90 degree north and the 90 degree south latitude lines now the thing about that is how um could the ISS ever be over the Earth? Because the North Pole is at the top, and you know that the ISS cannot fly over the North Pole or over the South Pole. So what you have been fooled to think is that the ISS is above the Earth. No. In order for the globe Earth model to be true, again, the ISS cannot be directly over the Earth because that is where the North Pole is supposed to lie. And of course, the ISS did not travel over the North Pole. So that would mean what? That the ISS is only traveling um, from west to east or east to west. And that can be circumnavigated above a flat plane easily. A globe? I don't think so. So if you have been watching my channel or if you're new to my channel, then you should probably know what's coming next. A diagram. Something that seems so hard for Globe Earthers to create. I think that they have relied on this science that everyone has been knowing for thousands of years for too long now. That they don't even know how to use their brains to create their own material. But I have no problem doing it. I actually enjoy it. Not because, um, as I've heard some people in the flat earth community chatting about um wanting to be notarized or whatever the case may be because i don't i've always been this type of person that i am academically and that is it and that is all i don't think people should be going at each other's necks when there is supposed to be a common cause and i definitely don't think i come off any more cocky or anything than the flat earthers or the globe earthers that are online right now the only difference is is that i'm coming with some tough material that is very difficult to be refuted 